Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through how to get to the Pokemon League in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. As ever, if the video helps you out, drop me a like below. But as you can expect, you won't be able to get to the Pokemon League until you've got all eight of the gym badges. Now, if you're quite away from that, then you can check out the video playlist linked above, which will take you through various points in the game to help you to progress to this point. But once you've got all eight gym badges, you can then head to the Sunny Shore Market and just around the corner from here, in the north of the city, you'll find this beach and Jasmine is standing on this beach. Now, the first time you talk to her, if you've been around the town before picking up the eighth gym badge, she won't give you the TM waterfall. But if you go to her after completing all eight of the gym badges, she will give it to you and you'll need it a little bit later on to get to the Pokemon League. Once you've done that, you can then surf on out into the water and you're looking to head up in this direction. Obviously, you'll have to battle your way through as you, uh, as you interact with trainers. But once you get to here, you need to head left past this guy who you will need to fight to get past and then back on to surf to go around this way and then you're heading back north and through this little gap here again there's another trainer just in the way there you'll need to fight to be able to progress but then if you keep on heading north from here you'll eventually come to this waterfall and this is where the TM waterfall comes in handy because you'll then be able to use it to climb up to the top but that isn't quite all the way to the Pokemon League because you've then got Victory Road to do. Now I'm not going to talk you through all of the pickups that you can get in Victory Road. That will take a fair amount of exploration. But the main route to the Pokemon League is up and to the right and then you need to head up over this bridge again. Now it's a good idea to use some max repels as you're going around unless you want to get into a lot of catching opportunities. And then when you get to here, head down with the rock climb and then you're looking to head left and around in this direction up these stairs and then past this trainer who you'll need to fight and then again as soon as you beat them head up these stairs and up the second stairs into this room and then here it gets a little bit complicated but in general you need to use rock smash on this rock and that will see you through this little section and then you'll be able to head down past the rest of the rocks. And then you need to use strength on these rocks. So you start with this one here, but there's kind of only one way to do this, I think. You need to push this one down, and then the one at the top left, you need to push that left, and then the one at the bottom left, you need to push that down, and that'll clear your route through to this section, and then again, you've got some more rocks to push out of the way. So push that one to start with, and then head on around to do a bit of a rock break on that one, and then once you've got that out of the way, you can then push this down even further to clear yourself a route to get around to the other rock down here, which you can rock smash, and that'll see you through to the next trainer. Continue heading to the right past that guy, and then you've got some more rocks to move out of the way. I think the only way to get past is to push that one out of the way, and then you can head up and beat that guy, and then head on down the stairs. From there, you head over the bridge and down that rock slide, and then you need to circle around and head on up and then head to the right to this karate dude who again you need to beat. Then you gotta go down the stairs, down the stairs again, down the stairs again to the water, surf on over in this direction and get yourself to this waterfall. Head up the waterfall, circle all the way around to the left and then cross over here to the other body of water over the other side while taking on the dude in the middle. Head up these stairs and take a left and then you need to go down this middle section past the older dude and then you can head down even further to bring yourself out around here. Head up this rock climb and you're getting super close by this stage. You'll have to fight that guy and then it's just a case of going over the bridge and through this door and you'll find yourself out here and then you can just use surf and waterfall to get yourself up to the top and finally, deep breath, that is how to get to the Pokemon League in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Like I said earlier, if that helps you out, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe with the link on the left hand side and see more of my guide for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.